You know, I think I'm gonna dub this lens the Great White Sharp because it's huge and it's white and it's really sharp. You know, the thing about a shark's eyes, lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes, doesn't even seem to be living until it bites you. What the f are you talking about? I said sharp. Then those eyes, they just roll over Stop white. it, stop it. Then you hear it. that awful high-pitched screaming. Welcome back, Deep Review TV viewers. Chris Nichols here, and as you can see, it's not the weekend. You know what that means. We've got another short video here for you. And what we're gonna look at today is the brand new Fuji XF 200mm F2. Now, of course, this doesn't look like Calgary, and that's because it's not, we're in Tokyo. We had this lens in Alberta to test, but we then found out shortly thereafter that we we're gonna to go to Fujikina, and we thought, well, you know what? Why not get a change of scenery, shoot here in Tokyo with this lens? Now, I just wanna do a side point as well. Fujikina 2019 was all about the new GFX 100 megapixel camera, which incidentally, Jordan is shooting on right now. Now, keep in mind, this is pre-production, so I don't know if the video is gonna look good. You be the judge, but it's a good sneak peek, and it's an awesome opportunity to see what that camera can do for video. Now, of course, this is a heavy lens, right? I mean, we're talking about a lens that's very similar to a full frame 300 millimeter 2.8, which makes sense. That is its full frame kind of equivalent. This lens is almost five pounds and it's giving us 105 millimeter filter thread in the front. So it's a big bulky lens, but it does feel well built and solid. And all the standard accoutrements you'd expect on a professional telephoto lens. We do have our custom focusing buttons here, nice aperture controls, focus limiter, and a very effective optical image stabilizer. I'm able to do about 15th of a second fairly well, which is good considering the telephoto the length that we have here. I also like that on the uh, tripod foot, we have a perfectly good Arca Swiss dovetail cut out of it. God knows why I put another plate on there. I guess it wasn't heavy enough for me. Now, for comparing this to its full frame counterparts, it's a pretty similar price point and that is high. I mean, it's just under $6,000 US. Uh, however, with that high price point comes awesome optical performance. I mean, this is really uh, a lens where it's hard to say anything negative about the performance optically. It is a sharp lens, just as we mentioned in the opening. And even with the supplied 1.4 times teleconverter, sharpness is still incredibly well maintained. And of course, that does add value for the dollar, absolutely. Uh, bokeh is beautiful, it's got really nice fall off. If you have the space for it and you're okay with the compression, this could actually be a beautiful portrait lens. Uh, overall, it's an incredibly well corrected lens. So in that regard, you can be confident you're getting an awesome performing lens. Now this 200 millimeter F2 is gonna give Fuji users a really nice option when it comes to action and wildlife. And uh, although that's true, I think it's really gonna find its home on the Fuji X-T3. The quad-core processing autofocus is gonna combine really nicely with quiet, twin linear focusing motors inside this lens. It's very fast focusing. Um, you know, the minimum focusing distance being just under two meters, maybe a little bit better than full frame counterparts, but basically the same. I was able to get some nice close-ups though with it. Uh, and really my only complaint is when it comes to the manual focusing capabilities for stills. It's smooth focusing, but it's a really long turn, so it slows you down. It's not the end of the world for stills, but I think Jordan's gonna dislike it for video. Jordan, to talk about this lens for video, and this is not the kind of lens you'd use all the time for video work, but if you need it, it's nice to know that you're getting very smooth autofocus transitions from one subject to another, like you can see here, and very stable autofocus that works great with video. But that autofocus, you're gonna need it because I'm gonna twist this lens from macro to infinity. There, infinity. Uh, you can see it's unusable for video if you are planning to use that focus ring. Fuji, please give us a firmware update for this. I just wish we'd gotten a mechanical clutch on this. It's a $6,000 lens, would have been awesome to have. This is annoying. Otherwise, great video lens. So in conclusion, you know, this 200 millimeter lens being extreme telephoto actually reminds me of another extreme lens, which is the Fuji XF 8 to 16 that we reviewed. Both lenses are absolutely expensive, but very well built, very solid, very professional and optically fantastic. More importantly, both lenses are really Fuji's option of 
keeping you from having to go full frame. I mean, they're making lenses where you can get very similar light gathering capabilities and focal lengths without feeling like you have to buy a full frame sensor. If you compare the price, it is an expensive lens, but that teleconverter does help quite a bit with the value for the dollar. And you know who you are if you feel that you're gonna need a lens like this. If you look at its counterparts, like the Canon version 2 300mm 2.8 or the Nikon's new 300mm 2.8, those are also both fantastic optical lenses. It seems to be a hallmark of professional telephotos. So kudos to Fuji for making a lens which is very comparable both in price point and capability. Don't forget, comment below. I know you're going to have some choice words for me. Oh well. And uh, subscribe please to the channel. Check out our Instagram and Twitter feeds. I hope you enjoyed the short little look at the 200mm XF F2 lens.